Okay, hello and welcome back to Simpler Rockets 2 and today we are going to be doing what I said in the last video is we're going to be taking this um, behemoth, which is our starship from the moon surface which we landed on a few bit videos back now and we are going to be taking it to... where is she? Well, back home and to Primus Station where it's going to dock with the space station, hopefully. So, I think let's get to it and get back up into there somehow. Oh, there's the planet doing an eclipse. Nice eclipse there. So F, and we're going to pull ourselves in. Hopefully. Yep, that's working. That's working. Pull ourselves in. There we go. There we go. Move back a little bit. And pull ourselves in. Wait there. And get off that. There we go. Look at that. Nicely done. And we'll enter there. So there we go. We are back on board the ship. So let's close that dock and bay, and we shall do a quick, another quick save, just in case things go wrong. Then what I'm going to do, east there, I'm going to set this pretty much to turn over. Oh god, fire the rockets. <coughs> I did not expect it to automatically start turning straight away. But okay, that'll do. Okay, so there we go. We want to just go horizontal, please, and fire the engines. Hopefully, this will stop, 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 stop. That's more than enough. And then we shall do an auto burn here to get into orbit, just so we can get it perfectly positioned orbit back around the earth or drew should I say so I want to get that nice and that'll do only two times speed because we're too close to the surface but nonetheless that is a cool view and oops I've just skipped past the eclipse I was going to look at <laughs> but that will do nicely there and that is the end of that so we've got plenty of fuel here would probably actually land it back, but I don't want to risk it. We'll probably land it back at some point. But anyway, we are gonna. Um, no, what is what is happening? Can we please set it as a target? Why can't we set it as a target? Okay, we'll set that as a target. That will do. Right. So where do I want to burn here? Do I want to burn here? I think that is the best approach, isn't it? Or do I burn? Yeah. I burn around there. Don't I? And then... Oops. Burn more. There we go, that is going to be a nice, nice burn there. I will turn that a bit closer, a bit closer in. Let's go here, see how close that is. That will actually do nicely, so we'll get back onto that. And we will fulfil that burn there. That is a good burn. Nice burn to have. Yep. Can't look at the engines because the engines give a little bit of lag. <laughs> but that should be good now to get into an orbit. And that is okay. And we've got plenty of fuel to adjust if needn't to adjust at any point. And we are really low on mono propellant, so we are going to turn that off because we need all the mono propellant we can get, even though I think. Yeah, the whole tank at the top is monopropellant. That's fine. Should be fine. I hope. Oops, oops, oops. 
was getting the recorder overly on and accidentally burnt. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's get that back into orbit, please. <laughs> That'll do. Lock that in. Burn that. Ooh. It seemed to have come a bit faster than I wanted it to. Okay, so there we go. We are leaving the sphere of the moon. Right. 300 kilometers. Um, that's actually not bad because 350. Oh, we are we are close. I wonder if I can actually get an encounter straight away. I mean, it's risky. No, because I need to change the inclination, which will not work in our favour. So that's not something we want to do. But if we go here, if we go right here, and we change the inclination here, well, that is no, that's going to waste too much fuel. No, we'll go to periaps, bring it into a nice solid orbit, and then we will focus on changing plane there where possible. Hopefully, we're going to have enough fuel for this whole maneuver. Um, that'll probably be enough there. 1,200 meters per second. Oof, that is going to be pushing it. Definitely pushing it. We're only a thousand kilometers out from the actual target, so not too bad. At least we know this starship can come back to Drew. Right, so I want this to change the inclination this is going to take a lot of delta v Ooh. too much delta v don't think we can there that hang on hang on We are going to get quite a close approach there. If we bring that in. What is that going to do for us if we mess around with these? No, that is not what I want. If we go out a bit, um, fuel is going to be an issue here. I think I wasted too much fuel. Um, an inclination change like that is going to be way too costly. I think. Okay, that is remarkably close there. Change that sensitivity down. How about If we do that, where we get to the point of really close intercept, 
will that work? I think we'll give it a go. <laughs> Why not? If all else fails, we'll just have to refuel the starship to get to the station. Does that make sense? Then, if I put that relative to target, move that. That's not, the manoeuvre doesn't work relative to target. Okay, if we just upgrade here. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. One thousand seven hundred meters per second. Ooh. Actually, that is pretty damn close. We might be able to use RCS here to finish off this burn maybe no <laughs> no Nope, that is not going to work. So we don't have enough fuel to get there. Hmm. Definitely don't have any fuel anywhere, do we? Just monopropellant and battery. Damn. Actually, let's restore that quick to see if I've got an idea. I have an idea which might help a little bit. No, that won't work. <laughs> oh, you know what? Let's just try and land this thing instead. Yeah, let's do that. Let's try and land this thing. Let's try and land this. Okay. Let's go. Railroad grid, please. Oh, I've waited way too late, I think. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go here. Let's warp to this point, please. And then we shall put a little change here and a bit of a retro burn. To try and get this down. Close, if not very close to the space station. The space station. Uh, the space port. <laughs> okay, so we've only got four engines. Oh, two engines running. Actually, that might be enough, I think. To be able to land, I think that should be fine. I think we need to do another bit of an inclination change here. So we'll do that as well. Do that little change there. And how much fuel have we got left? 900 meters per second. Oof. 
Let's see what happens. Oh, I'm, I'm miles off. Let's burn a little bit to bring that down. Four hundred meters per second left. Ooh, we're well past the. Oh, that would have been quite a close landing if we did get in it. If we had gotten it. Damn. We are coming in quite hot though. But no reentry effects for some reason. Why is that? Oh, here we go. Now we're cooking. <laughs> Hopefully with this being a big chunk, it will um, have a lot of drag. Let's get a nice thumbnail in here. And another one like that. There we go. Hopefully we'll land this thing. I really doubt it on 400 meters per second. But you never know. Here we go. Let's just time warp a little bit. Above ground altitude level, sorry. 300 meters per second to slow down. I think we might be able to do this. Come on. We've only got to cancel out 200 meters per second left. Get them landing legs down. RCS yes, so we don't topple over. Ooh, bring that down, bring that down. Oh, faster, 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 faster. Stop. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> we actually did it. That was amazing. So hang on. That was a fully reusable mission to the moon. And back. That... It's a job well done. <laughs> and with 65 metres per second left to spare. That was amazing. Anyway guys, for this one, thank you very much for joining. If you did like, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.